All right. Um, this is an unboxing. Um, I do order stuff before the season. I also order stuff during the season and after the season. So, you know. I uh, just thought I'd show an unboxing. I haven't shown one in a while. Uh, so this stuff here, uh, I think I got about a week ago. I got some Hall Baker's Mink. This came from Hoosier Trapper Supply. Hall, Banker, Hall Baker's Minkler number one. And uh, Brown Buck Minkler. I'm trying to get a little better at catching mink because, uh, to be honest with you, I'm terrible at it. I'm lucky if I catch one a season. So of all of the animals that I trap try to trap the meat it seems has been the most elusive I don't know I think uh, I talked to a couple other trappers that had the same issue but anyway on to the stuff Sorry. Uh, my skin and check which is actually an addition onto the house which at some point this is going to be two bedrooms because I got three kids and they're all grown and when they come over I would uh, like for them to have a decent place to stay. Um, okay, so like I said, the two bottles of Lure, that was from Hoosier Trapper's Fly. Here I have a, uh, a number two Victor um, professional 2x2 two two offset jaws. Uh, it's rusty because when I get new traps, I throw them in the branch, let them rust up so I can spray paint them. Then I have a Duke uh, 550 um, offset professional series. I thought I would try one of these. Um, a lot of, you know, some people are upset because it's a knockoff, but, you know, it's a trap. I've said many times I like trying different traps, uh, seeing how they function. This is how we learn things. All right. Now, this came from F&T. Uh, let's see here if I can get this thing open. Actually, my utility knife with a hook blade in it that I use to uh, skin beaver. I don't know about you all, but I get a little excited when trapping supplies come in. Uh, it's always uh, pretty cool. Okay, honestly, I can't remember what I like ordered. I don't pitch anything away that I might need. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here we have one and a half gallon red box urine. Uh, this is the only urine I use um, because the coyotes were their territorial and every other animal. You know, Red Fox makes it territory, they're going to get a little cheesed up. More padding. Then we have some aluminum push pins. Mine are getting a little long. i renew that. Uh, wolf Fang anchors, one dozen. I make my own. I don't have a swager, I just use a sledgehammer and a regular hammer. Works for me. Got me some cable cutters. Uh, this was actually a free gift. Uh, I've never used any of these, so I'm going to have to figure out how. Hmm. Like I said, cable cutters, free gift. And I have. One dozen Dakota line snares. Uh, these are one by 19, five sixty fourths. Uh, I thought these were Ghost Riders, but I think they might have been sold out of Ghost Riders. So I'll have to boil those in uh, baking soda, take that shine off of them. But uh, this is my favorite snares. I used to use a seven by seven, but uh, they just don't hold a loop as well. These one by 19 do. Set those to the side. Drag 
this here. I uh, kind of like these things. I'm going to rig up uh, a few more of my traps to uh, utilize these. They're handy whenever the ground's, you know, uh, where a trap on reclaimed uh, strip mine, sometimes it's hard to get a stake in, but uh, you don't have to worry when you got drags like that. Then I have uh, eighth inch aluminum double ferrules. Again, I like making my own earth anchors. 100 foot of 77 cable for various things, um, including the earth anchors. Then I have a, a number three Montgomery Douglas, and I have not tried any Montgomery traps, so I figured I would give it a whirl. <clears throat> Looks like a decent trap. And then I have my old go-to. Everybody knows this. Yeah, this place is covered up a bit, but it gets that way during the season. Come on out of there, you box. Number two, Bridger Douglas. Yeah, I'm running into my game scales there. Here's that number three, Montgomery Douglas. So I'll let these rust up and may get to try these for the end of the season. I haven't done too bad so far this year. And then we have another number two. I'm sure I didn't leave anything out. So, um, like I said, some people enjoy unboxing, some don't. Yeah, there's not much better than uh, getting trapping stuff in the mail. At least it ain't like it was when I was a kid when you'd send a money order in and you had to wait two months for your stuff to arrive. There was no tracking and all that good stuff. So, now One thing I noticed about this... Uh, number three Douglas is these spring pins. I'll probably have to cut those off because a big yoke will just work this thing over. These will be bent all to pieces. Uh, so I'm going to have to modify that. Probably need to cut these off as well because I'm not going to four coil them. But anyway, uh, I'll let you all go. Just figured I'd show you that. Uh, happy trapping, folks, and uh, stay safe out there. Later.